Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison of the KLX 110 versus the Apollo RFZ 125. And yes, I already know, we all know that there is an engine size difference and bike size, but it's more or less what do you get what you pay for like is it better to have name brand more expensive and it still be smaller or a cheaper chinese knockoff but bigger and how they relate and how can they compare to each other So pretty much I'm going to be doing three laps on the KLX 110 and then another three laps on the Apollo RFZ 125 and we're going to do lap times and find out which one's the best on the speed on the track and then we'll go from there. It seems the KLX 110 handles really well the corners and the power is just real smooth uh, bottom to top. It definitely felt really light and nimble like I could throw it around really well but uh, the suspension was a little bit too plush and obviously for my weight I'm 130 pounds, so it's a bit rough hitting anything, so it's kind of more or less sketchy to try to hit anything real hard. Overall, really good bike. I'm impressed. Um, Handle amazing. Power's right there. I highly recommend. The only thing bad is probably the suspension, so go ahead and definitely get a bigger suspension if you're about my weight or any, anywhere up. Well, as you can see, I stayed in about the one minute range through all four laps, so not too bad. Sorry if this thing sounds a little bit rough. Um, we went to the track and the exhaust actually fell off, so uh, yeah, we didn't have enough parts and you know tools to get it fixed, so we kind of just went with it. So just uh, bear with us. I could definitely feel a big difference in the Apollo off going off of obviously size and the suspension. The suspension tops the KLX by far. The only thing I think would be would need to be better is the pegs to be out further. I just feel like I'm sitting too high up on the bike. But not bad on suspension. Power pretty good. Out of all honesty, it's definitely a pretty good bike. Everything about it's not bad. I just think that they don't handle or hold together as well as any of the name brands. So, I mean, if money is an issue, I wouldn't mind definitely going to pick up one of these things. Man, that is crazy. The lap times are identical. Maybe just a hair off with the Apollo, but that could have been anything from uh, not timing it just, just on the money. So honestly, I'm gonna have to give them a tie. That's crazy that the KLX definitely kept up with the speed. I think the uh, handling on the KLX made up for the speed and power compared to the uh, Apollo. They're both great bikes, honestly. I mean, Chinese, I'd never recommend it, but like I said, if you don't have the money, uh, honestly, I, if, it were to me, if it were me, I would wait till you have the money and buy a name brand bike just because they won't fall apart on you. And that is the only downside to the Apollo. Um, but honestly, it's worth every bit of money uh, that they are. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I uh, broke my ankle at Redbud 
uh, a couple months back. So uh, the video should start pumping out. Uh, and by the way, thanks again for um, a thousand subscribers. It means a lot. Um, can't thank you guys enough. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to try to pump out a video at least once a week. So uh, yeah, subscribe, like, and uh, share the video with your friends and uh, have a good one.